Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry and today is day 24 of one month in my bullet journal. I cannot believe how fast this month is flying. It's crazy. Last time I did one month in my bullet journal was back in February and it was only 28 days or 29 days. I don't remember if it was a leap year this year, but it seemed like it took forever <laughs> to get through the month. And I think it's just because I have so much more going on this month than just one month in my bullet journal that the month is flying by. And it's actually been really, really fun to share all of this with you guys along the way. So I appreciate those of you that watch these every single day. I love it. Okay. I'm going to get straight into planning in my Leuchtturm, and I know a lot of you are just dying to see what's going on in my traveler's notebook. <laughs> um, I promise you will get to see all of that tomorrow during my plan with me. And I'm not only going to have a plan with me for September, but possibly next week, I'm also going to have a flip through of my entire traveler's notebook bullet journal so that you can see how I have everything else set up in addition to setting up for my month of September. So we're just going to get started with today and I'm just going to mark off some tasks that I got done. So I did get to go into the office yesterday and pack and ship with Kristen. I worked on the Positive Scribes workbook but it's not 100% finished yet so I'm just going to put an in progress slash there. Printing and assembling inserts, yes, but we're going to have to do more of that today. And I did reschedule my TSA appointment, and that's going to be for sometime in the beginning of September. Okay, and then setting up inserts is still an open task. I'm going to finish that tonight before I film my plan with me. And we're just going to get into setting up for today, which is Thursday. Oh, no. All right. First mistake right off the bat. <laughs> all right so we've got our header all done and it's time to fill in appointments which I don't have any appointments or events today so I'm going to leave that blank but I do have a lot coming up tomorrow so I know that we have a TN restock in the morning. Also, I'm getting my hair cut and colored tomorrow. My plan with me video needs to come out tomorrow and I'm sending out my tribe newsletter to my email list tomorrow. So a lot of things that I need to prepare for. So I am gonna do these two tasks, film plan with me video and draft email. Also, I need to continue printing inserts for the shop. That is gonna be pretty much my entire day of printing inserts. So while I'm doing that, I might also work on getting the workbook finished, which I have that as an open task from yesterday. And that's gonna be pretty much a full day for me. And then this evening, I'll have time to finish setting up the rest of my inserts in my new bullet journal. All right, so we are gonna color code for today. My ideal sleep. My morning routine. And then my entire day today is pretty much work. go. All right, let's get some monthly spreads done here. Where are we? There we go. <laughs> All right, so for gratitude, I'm actually going to write in uh, emails. <laughs> I know it's a silly thing uh, to be grateful for. Maybe I'll doodle a little envelope down here but over the last few days I don't know if it's something in the air but and I get these from time to time but I've gotten quite a few 
really, really sweet emails from people thanking me for what I do and the things that I put out into the world. And it's just made me feel <laughs> so happy and thankful that A, I'm able to do something that I truly love and B, that it's making an impact in people's lives. And I just, I adore that. Emails. All right, that's my gratitude for today. And we're moving on to my tracker. All right, so we're using green for this week and filling in for yesterday, Wednesday. I did my miracle morning. I didn't work out yesterday. I still wasn't feeling 100%. No goal check, definitely hydrated, no budget review. I did a blog post, actually two blog posts yesterday. Definitely filmed a YouTube video, posted to Instagram. No me day, and I was actually in bed by 11.13, which is kind of borderline. Like I think within 10 minutes is fine, but that's almost 15 minutes, so I'm not going to mark it. And then this morning I was up by 6.05, which is close enough to 6 for me to mark that off. Okay, and then yesterday afternoon my mood was definitely back to being fully productive, taking on the day. I had a great afternoon at the office with Kristen, which was fabulous. And then this morning I am, I'm going to put grateful grateful again. Those emails I got yesterday just have me in such a good mood. So thank you. You know who you are. I really, really appreciate the kind words. Okay. And sleep log is the last thing. And then I have kind of a special treat for you today. So let's get this sleep log filled in. Went to bed at 1113 and woke up at 605. Right. And for my stats, my low heart rate was 63, my high was 98, and my average was 74, with overall quality of 69%. Okay, so we've got the sleep log done, and my little surprise today is that I ordered, kind of on a whim, some new pens. So I'm going to use, let's see, I have some pen test pages here in the back. Maybe I'll use this one here. All right, so I got these cool uh, multi, multi pens. I ordered them from Jet Pens. These are by Uniball. These are uni style fit pens and they hold five different, make sure I'm holding this in the right place, but they hold five different um, ink, ink pens. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. I remember playing with these uh, multi-pens when I was a kid. And when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so, so fun. So I ordered a couple of them, one in kind of this bluish teal color and then another in a lavender. And these pens actually come empty and you have to purchase the ink refills. And the ink refills come in a ton of different colors and sizes. So I actually got... These, I believe, are all 0.38 millimeter, and they use the Uniball Signo gel ink. So I have a bunch of colors here, and then a bunch of colors that I couldn't fit into my pens. And I ordered a couple of multiples of ones that I knew I'd go through quickly, like blacks and blues and things like that. But they come in these little containers, and let's see if I can get one open here. Yeah. All right, so it's just this little pen insert and you can see it has a little protective doohickey on there. But yeah, so they have these little containers that they come in and then you put them into your pen and you have your multiple colors, which I think is really cool. So I got two of them so I could have multiple colors with me when I'm on the run and I don't feel like taking my big pen case with me. I can just slide these in my bag and have multiple color options. So I'm gonna test these out. The main thing I wanna test is the black ink and see if I'm able to highlight over it with, um, with my Tombos. So I'm gonna write here with the 
black, okay, so we'll start with black and it's 0.38 millimeters. Okay. And I have some other colors on here, I might as well just go through them all. This one is a blue black. I'm not going to highlight over the colors, obviously, but apparently I forgot how to spell. There we go. And I love, I love this super fine tip. That's actually why they have some different options. I think it's 0.5 or 0.7 millimeter, and then they have these thinner 0.38. I think they even have one that's thinner than the 0.38, which is crazy. This is plenty thin for me, and I love a fine point. All right, so that's all the ones I have in there. Oh, and I have a, this one has a mechanical pencil as well, which is pretty cool. And these pens were pretty cheap. Um, I want to say it was $8 for the pen body. And then each of these individual little refill guys were somewhere around a dollar a piece, or you can buy like a huge set at kind of a discounted rate. All right, so let's do the purple one. All right, so I think I've given that enough time to dry. I know with gel ink, you've got to give it time to dry before you highlight over it, but I'm going to go over it with a yellow and see what happens. Ah, it always makes me nervous the first time. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, massive smear. Massive smear. Okay, well, that's good to know. So not so good if you want to highlight over them, but cool pens nonetheless. I think they're really fun to have. I'll just remember that I cannot highlight over these pens, but they'll be really nice things to have when I'm traveling and not having to worry about carrying my big pen case around with me. So yeah, if you're, uh, if you're interested in me doing an actual full-on review on these, let me know. I'll definitely link them in the description box below so you can check them out. But yeah, just a fun little, fun little thing I'm playing around with I thought I'd show you today. All right, you guys, I am going to get on with my day. I have a lot to get finished, and I will look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all.